Hello and welcome to my living room and a new eNet Smart Home video. Voice assistants have been growing by leaps and bounds for some time now. There's hardly another product group which is talked about this much. Using our voice we can tell the smartphone where it should place a call or in the car we can specify a new destination for the navigation system without taking our eyes off the road. So why not put these advantages to use in our own four walls as well? And this is precisely why I'm happy to be able to take the next few minutes to show you how you can link your existing eNet Smart Home system with a Google Assistant enabled end device. With the voice control, not only can you turn lights on and off, but if your lights are dimmable, you can also set the brightness. And you can also use your voice to open and close your blinds. In addition, it is possible to call up the scenes which you have created in your eNet Smart Home app. What's more, you can, for instance, query the status of your lights. To review how to create scenes like these in your eNet Smart Home app, please have a look at one of my other videos. Let me just display the link for you. By the way, Voice assistants always require an internet connection and, one more thing, controlling your home by voice isn't everyone's cup of tea. So, always make sure to also include conventional eNet push-button sensors in the plan, since they will remain functional if the internet happens to be down. In order to be able to make use of the advantages of voice control in your own four walls, the following five criteria must be met. First of all, your eNet Smart Home server needs to be at least version 2.2.1. Second, you need a smartphone with the eNet Smart Home app. Third, a My eNet User account with remote access eNet Smart Home Remote activated. Fourth, the eNet server is permanently connected to the internet. And fifth, a Google Assistant enabled end device or Google Home app with activated eNet Smart Home action as well as a Google user account. I'm assuming that you've already created the My eNet user account. So we can get started by now linking this user account with the Google action. Let me show you how that works on my smartphone. All you have to do to begin is download the Google Home app. This is available free of charge in your App Store. Then just link your Google user account to this app. Now we just need the eNet Smart Home action. Basically, this is nothing but an application which runs in the Google Home app. Now we start the Google Home app and can set up a further device via the plus symbol in the top left corner. Here we select Set up device and then have already something set up at the very top, we can now see our Google action, eNet Smart Home. A new page is displayed and prompts us to enter our existing My eNet account data. This consists of your email address and password. To finish, tap the login button at the bottom of the screen. All of the eNet Smart Home devices found are displayed automatically. Now that we've found our eNet Smart Home devices, all that's left is for us to assign them to a room. Let me use the phone again to show you how this works. Now we just have to assign our living room ceiling lamp, for instance, to a room. We tap this lamp and then Next. In my example, I've created a showroom. We can leave that the way it is and continue by tapping Next again. Now the display shows a list of different rooms. And we want to assign the lamp we have here, of course, to the living room. So I choose the living room and tap Next. That's all there is to it. Please proceed the same way for additional lamps or blinds and assign them to the corresponding room. That's all there is to it. Now you can control your eNet Smart Home devices with your voice. OK Google, turn on the living room light. Sure, turning living room light on. If you aren't happy with one or the other name, that's absolutely no problem. In the Google Home app, you can adapt these program names without any hassle. You see here, for instance, that the designation Bedroom Bedside Lamp is a little too long. 
No trouble, we tap here to go in and can change the name via the gear wheel icon. Let me shorten this designation to Bedroom Bedside and save the whole thing. Please note, do not use special characters or numbers for this name. If you want to integrate new ENET smart home devices in your home in the future, this is of course no problem at all. You only have to tell Google to look for new devices. OK Google, check for new devices. I found new devices. At the moment you can use the following voice commands. OK Google, turn light on or off. OK Google, set light to, for instance, 50%. OK Google, set blind to 80%. OK Google, open blind. OK Google, activate the scene, movie night. OK Google, is the light in the living room still on? While we're talking about scenes, in the Google Home app, you have the option of creating so-called routines of your own, which is really neat. This lets you create your routines yourself with the Google Home app. And what makes it ingenious is that you can use it to integrate smart home devices from other manufacturers as well. For example, when you get up in the morning, you could create a routine called Good Morning. So you say, OK Google, good morning. And before you know it, the bedroom light switches on to 50% brightness, your bedroom blinds open, and your coffee machine in the kitchen turns itself on and gets your coffee ready. Now if you're wondering what about the Tado heating system control, then rest assured that it's absolutely no problem. You just need to activate the action for Tado in the Google Home app and you'll be able to operate your heating system via voice control too. Just like I explained about the routines of course, it is now possible to integrate your Tado heating system control in these as well. And so your heating system will now also respond to the phrase, OK Google, good morning. If you no longer want the link between your ENET Smart Home System and the Google Assistant, then you can simply unlink the ENET Smart Home action in the Google Home app. I hope you now have a good impression of the options Voice Control has to offer and how easy it was to set it all up. I hope to see you soon. All the best until then. Bye.